John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Genesis 32 28 Commentary And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. That is, not Jacob only, but Israel also, as Ben Melech interprets it, or the one as well as the other, or the one rather and more frequently than the other. For certain it is, that he is often after this called Jacob, and his posterity also the seed of Jacob, though more commonly Israel, and Israelites. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. This is given as a reason of his name Israel, which signifies a prince of God, or one who as a prince prevails with God, which confutes all other etymologies of the name, as the upright one of God, the man that sees God, or any other. He now prevailed with God in prayer, and by faith got the blessing, as he had prevailed before with Esau and Laban, and got the better of them, and so would again of the former. Hence some render the word, and shall prevail, and indeed this transaction was designed to fortify Jacob against the fear of his brother Esau, and from whence he might reasonably conclude, that if he had power with God, and prevailed to obtain what he desired of him, he would much more be able to prevail over his brother, and even over all that should rise up against him, and oppose him, and this may not only be prophetic of what should hereafter be fulfilled in the person of Jacob, but in his posterity in future times, who should prevail over their enemies, and enjoy all good things by the favor of God. For it may be rendered, Thou hast behaved like a prince with God, and with men, or, over men thou shalt prevail.